What is up? We got the box back from Beckett of all our graded cards. There's probably 100 plus cards in here. I'm itching to open it, so we're gonna do that right now. Uh, if you watch our YouTube series, Cavalier's Packs, most of these are from those. So all the cards that we've been opening and we're saying we're gonna send them away and report back to you how we did, that's exactly what this is. All right, so I am pumped up to open this. Really have no idea what this is gonna look like. I'm hoping for some high grades. Let's see how we did. All right, let's open this thing. Ooh, look at that. Looking nice, looking nice and big old brick in there. Oh, so here you go. So here's my paperwork, don't look. This is my paperwork that says all the grades. Don't wanna look at that or it'll ruin, ruin the surprise. Look at this, bam. So anyway, so great, great job of packaging from Beckett. They obviously do a good job to make sure they get to you in great condition. Oh, here's the, re it's the reveal right now. I see some grades already. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, in order to make sure that we kind of stick to the packs that we open with Cavalier's packs, they're not in any kind of order right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize them by year and then we'll start bouncing, uh, bouncing through them and see how we did. All right, so I got everything unboxed. Um, I went ahead and got rid of the cards that we didn't do in Cavalier's Packs because that's what we wanna look at is the cards that we pulled on YouTube in the Cavalier's Pack series. That's what I got in front of me. All these cards here were pulled out of the packs, right from the pack, sent right to Beckett, and this is gonna reveal to you the grades that we got. Some of them we kinda sent away for experiment, even though I knew they weren't gonna necessarily get a high grade. Um, most of them I felt would give us a really high grade Really definitely a mixed bag as I glance at them. So we'll take a look. Let's go through them real quick. So first off, baseball, we did 1993 tops. Primarily looking for Derek Jeter rookies. We did get one Derek Jeter rookie. Looked pretty nice. I think centering is probably the, the biggest issue. Now, one thing we did with this batch is we only did the numerical grade. So with Beckett, you can have them grade all four. They'll do the corners, the surface, the edges, and the centering. Um, and that'll give you a better idea of why it graded what it did. So that's gonna probably be a little frustrating for us as we go through these because we don't see the breakdown of the four, but we're just gonna have to look at the card as a whole. So the Derek Jeter got an 8.5. Obviously a little disappointing, a more modern card, we wanna get a higher grade. Nothing against Beckett, they did their job, but uh, this is an experiment. So my first time doing this, so we'll see. Now here, this isn't bad. We, we sent away a 93 Sammy Sosa tops gold because we felt like it would probably get a high grade. Got a 9.5, so a 9.5. Uh, is, is extremely good grade from them. So there you go, so 9.5 there. That's not, that's pretty happy with that one. And then we had two King Griffey Juniors, card number 179, obviously hoping for a high grade and sending those in. These came back in 8.5. So, you know, had I known that, wouldn't have been worth sending in, but 8.5 right out of the pack, so there you go. We also did 1993 Bowman, also looking for Derek Jeter rookies. We did get one, and that one also came back in 8.5. With a card like this, you're really hoping for a 9, 5, or 10. Unfortunately, we didn't get really close. And then in that same box, we got an Andy Pettit rookie. Sent that away, that got a seven. All right, moving on, let's go back. We're throwing it back here. We, went, we did a box of 1983 tops. All right, so our worst grade out of the three rookies, and again, keep in mind, right crisp out of the, out of the pack. So this shows you why the high grades are so valuable, because they're extremely hard to get, even when you're opening the pack that's just fresh. All right, so Wade Boggs, rookie, got us a seven. Tony Gwynn, rookie, 7.5. And the Ryan Sandberg got us an eight. Had a grade. We decided to grade two Cal Ripken Juniors. This is uh, his third year, it looks like. And those both came back in 8.5. So interesting, right? Like the same card coming out of the pack, which is not uncommon because you can tell they're cut from the same sheet and centering is a major factor. So uh, you can tell when you're getting the same cards out of a box, you can see the centering and everything looks identical. If there's any print marks are usually identical just because they're coming so close in the same run. So two 8.5s for the Ripkins. And then we sent away a Nolan Ryan. He got a seven. That could grade that a seven. Let's move on to basketball. Football I think was our more premium product. 1999, 2000 Topps Chrome. Kobe. So the best card we probably got out of that was the Kobe Bryant. Uh, especially if that would have been a higher grade, but we got a nine. So a nine on the Kobe. Next up, we got a couple inserts and decided to send those in to see how they graded. The first was a Kevin Garnett all etch. That one got a 9.5. So that was probably worth sending in. And then Anthony Hardaway instant impact. That one got an eight. And I wish I could tell you exactly why. 
Next time I'll definitely splurge and get the, uh, the quad grade so we can see exactly what brought the grade to what it is. One rule that Beckett has, so when they grade the four things, the centering, the edges, the corner, surface, you can only have a 0.5 higher max than the lowest of those grades. So for example, this Ken Griffey Jr. that got us a 5.5, it could have been a 10 in three of the four categories and the, the other category was a five because it got a banged corner or something. Once you get that five, the highest you can ever get is a 5.5. So fun fact. All right, next smallest pile. This is 1989-99 Finest. The uh, first one we got, we sent in the Jordan. This one even has a cover on it. And this one only got us an eight. So this one came right out of the pack. More modern card with the cover and it only got an eight. All right, the no protectors. This was a uh, insert card. Um, Allen Iverson got a nine, no protector insert. And the last one we sent away was another insert. And again, some of these not necessarily for value, sometimes more for an experiment. I wanted to see how this stuff grades so I can get a better idea of how this stuff works. This was a Gary Payton uh, Hardwood Honors insert and that one got an 8.5. All right, moving on, 1992-93 tops. We sent away more here. Oh, look at that. Right on the front, there is a Shaq rookie. I didn't even notice. Right on the front, off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. Bam, Shaq rookie right there. Looking pretty good. 92, 93 tops. They gave us a nine on all three. So all three graded exactly the same at nines. Three Shaq sh sh rookies out of the same box though. That's pretty cool. All right, and then we got the uh, couple of the beam teams we sent away. Team, this one's got Jordan on it. That might be worth it too. So our what, fourth? Wait, oh, there we go. So there's a beam team that has Shaq on it. That's actually an unexpected little surprise. And this one has Jordan on it. And that got a 9.5. So this box was pretty good as far as the grades go. The other beam team we sent away has a Shaq, is Shaq's rookie. So that one got us also a 9.5. And all the Jordans. Yeah, Mike has some potential. The greatest basketball player of all time. We'll get the final recap here at the end. Looking pretty crisp too. We know now, based off the cards, we're looking at how hard it is to get a grade this high. All of these graded a 9.5. So that's awesome. One, two, three. Four and five, all a 9.5. That's pretty stinking cool. So everything you see is gonna end up in our auction, our Sunday to Sunday weekly auction. Everything starts at 20 bucks, no reserve. Uh, that's our sports card auction. That thing's been really fun. All right, 1989-90 Fleer. This was definitely an experiment. I sent in all these stickers thinking we're not gonna get high grades. I wasn't completely wrong. All right, it's funny, I remember this. Carl Malone, I was like, you know, not worth sending in, but this is probably, a, I think it's really got a shot out of the 10. So let's send it in and see what happens. 8.5, that's what happens. Wah, wah. All right, Magic Johnson, we got sent away two, both got 8.5s. So I guess if you're hitting 10s, you're probably hitting a bunch of 10s in the same run. All right, Jordan, we got one, two, three, four Jordans. This is interesting. This one got a 6.5. So all three of the others got 8.5s. So that's interesting, right? Four, three of the four got 8.5s, one got a 6.5. And again, next time we'll do the subgrades so that we can tell you exactly what they saw. All right, now we got our stickers. So these were interesting. These ones to me looked all off center, but the more I research it, the more I feel like that's just the way these are. I'm sure it still hurts you a little bit as far as the grade goes. Um, let's start with Charles Barkley. All right, we had two Charles Barkleys. Again, same box, you guys watch us open them. One got a 6.5, and then the other one got an 8.5. So we'll take an 8.5. All right, two Hakeem Olajuwon's. One got a 7.5 and the other an 8.5. Two Magic Johnson's, an eight and an 8.5. So those ones are a little more consistent. Eight and 8.5 on Magic Johnson. And again, these are the sticker inserts. All right, and then Jordan, we got three Jordans. All right, we started with a 6.5. Terrible. Then we got an eight, okay. And then our best one out of the three is an 8.5. All right, so that was 89 and 90 Fleer basketball. Let's move on to, this one was fun, 92, 93 top stadium club basketball. So Alonzo Mornings, I remember debating this. I'm like, man, only if these have a shot at a 10 should I be sending these away? Because even if we get 10s, it's not worth a ton of money. We got all 8.5s. So man, they look sharp, but 8.5s. So again, just continues to show us why 10s, 9.5s are so stinking valuable because they're very difficult to get. Let's do Jordans. All right, so this is the Jordan number one card. 
We ended up getting three. Two of them graded at a nine. And one graded at a 9.5. Take that. This is the other Jordan number 210. This is the member's choice version. Did a little better on these. So the first one was an 8.5, so that one felt a little disappointing. But the next two are both 9.5, so we'll take that. That's great. Both 9.5s. So there's the Shaq, but all these are rookies. There's a Shaq standard rookie, card number 247, and then card 201 is a member's choice. We'll start there. Card 201, member's choice, we got two. First was an 8.5, disappointing. The next one, we'll take it, it's a nine. 8.5 and nine, same card, same box. All right, and then we move on to the standard Shaquille O'Neal rookie, 8.5. Beautiful card, 8.5. Next one is a nine. All right, football. This is cool. This is probably our most premium stuff that we opened. Some really key rookies here. 1986 tops. Good stuff. All right, let's start with uh, Reggie White rookie. Right out of the pack, we got a 7.5. Two Steve Young rookies. First one, 7.5. Second one got an eight. Getting better. The most important part of the box, the Jerry Rice rookies. We pulled two. They looked exactly the same. They got exactly the same grade. Both 7.5s. Still a beautiful card. I mean, this is an iconic card, a key card in, collect in collecting. But pretty disappointing right out of the pack that we got 7.5s. But that's the game. All right, next up, Bruce Smith. We got two Bruce Smiths, and uh, this is his rookie card, I believe. First one got an eight. And the next one an 8.5. All right, we sent away a Lawrence Taylor, and this was, again, trying to kind of pick one where I'm like, man, this is an experiment. I think this is gonna be a high grade, 7.5. All right, then we got Joe Montana's. We ended up with three Joe Montana's. Uh, two graded at 7.5, those two there. And one graded at eight. So, I mean, high grades, but a little disappointing. You know, with 86 tops, opening, opening the fresh box, I was really hoping for, you know, eights, nines, maybe even a nine, five. If we could have got nines with uh, Jerry Rice, we would have done really good. 1978 tops. John Sawworth got us a seven. A um, couple of the highlight cards, they're sort of inserts, just kind of trying to gauge the grades. We sent away Walter Payton, and it was a bad idea because it got us a six. Fran Tarkenton got us a 6.5. You know, if you're not getting eight plus, we're probably would advise you not to send it in. But the trouble is, you know, until you send it in, sometimes you don't know. All right, Steve Largent, another disappointment. And this one's way off center. I'm sure that's what killed us. Especially, you know, with the understanding that they can only grade it a half point higher than the centering. Steve Largent got a five. We got two, two Lambert rookies. The first one got a, or Lambert cards. Not, I'm not 100% if this is considered as rookie or not. We got an eight, a uh, 5.5. And then we got an eight. So definitely a big variance there, even out of the same box. All right, and this is a big card, the 20 door set. So, you know, positive and negative. Negative being that we didn't get the real high grade that we were really hoping for. But this one got us a seven. And if you remember, this one had the little print line down it. I didn't know how bad that hurts us. But I think this is a good answer to that because that one got a seven. The other one is uh, actually a little better centering too. So I don't know how bad that hurts us with that print line. I don't know how much they count that against you. But this one got an 8.5, so that's not bad. Tony Dorsett 8.5, we'll take that. Jim Plunkett, uh, card 131, that one got us an eight. Last, but definitely not least, this was an awesome box. 1984 tops. Where are we starting? Here we go. Let's start with like the, we had a team leader that had Dan Marino on it. Since it's his rookie year, we sent it away. This one got us a seven. Dan Marino uh, instant replay. This is like a parallel card, an insert. This one got us a six. Sent it away since this is his rookie year. Walter Payton, again, this is a Pro Bowl card. Um, this one got a six. Howie Long rookie. 6.5, a little better, not much. All right, Ricky Jackson rookie, this one was better. This one got a good grade, actually. Wish the other rookies got this high a grade. A nine, Ricky Jackson got a nine. So it made it maybe worth it. All right, Dale Green rookies, there were three in this box. Starting, we'll go worst to best. 7.5, eight on number two, and 8.5, not bad, 8.5 rookie. Joe Montana's, this was card 358. Two of them graded a seven. 
And again, same box, pretty crazy, right? Two is seven, and then the third, an 8.5. So it jumps up significantly for that third card. Last but not least, the moment we've all been waiting for, the LA and the Marino rookies. 6.5. Not what we were looking for. And we bumped up a little bit on the second LA, got us up to a seven. Really wanted eight nines, 9.5s. The value difference is significant. Still fun. Had to send those away, even if they were gonna be a lower, lower grade. All right, Marinos didn't fare us much better. 6.5 on the first one. And a seven on card two. There you have it, what did we learn? We learned that grading is a hard business. We got some good grades, just not necessarily on the cards that we wanted. I tell you what though, all these cards you just saw are gonna be in our auction. Check it out, pristineauction.com. It'll be in the weekly auction. Some of these I'll put in the daily, probably some of the lower grades we'll toss in the daily auction. But if you're interested in anything that you saw, we'll toss them in the auction. You'll have a shot to grab a card that we pulled in Cavalry's packs and send away for grading. So thanks for joining us, thanks for uh, watching. It was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, uh, not the grades we were looking for on a lot of these cards. Highly advise you, if you find high grades, you just saw how tough it is to get them. So that's why in our auction, you can see a bunch of the high grades also. We're gonna do, some, do this more. So join us, we're gonna, uh, if you haven't watched Cowley's Packs, make sure to watch them. And we're gonna be doing a whole bunch more episodes because this is a lot of fun. Uh, next time we send these away, we'll get the subgrades so we can get a little more info. Thanks for watching.